I... I just started and already I'm, the magister's just staring at me. Stop it. I'm self-conscious. And the narrator, narrator's not speaking. I don't know why. I, I literally just... I actually literally just booted the game and this is what happens. As the magister's eyes are lit upon you, they widen until they are practically bulging out of their sockets. One trim, tremulous finger raises from voluminous robes and points right at you. From her other hand dangles handcuffs. Voluminous, like because she's very voluptuous. No, that's not <laughs> whatever. If I'm Ben Mez, does uh -oh. I live and breathe? I don't know how you got free, but it'll be back to the joy with you, and no mistake. I don't think there's any magisters left in uh, Fort Joy, by the way. I'm confused. Who's this effing? Ma, oh, they remembered you. Jangle your coin purse and wink. <laughs> Let's do this, because I don't even know why he would do that. She considers your offer. Oh. Uh, much laugh and the wallop in her face with your coin purse <laughs> oh man that would be funny as hell let's do 35 gold the magister grabs the coin and looks around shiftily then turns back to you i want more get out of here and don't let me catch you again <laughs> okay i just brought literally just started and i just bribed a magister out of okay no, I could still go kill her and maybe get my money back. Not for now. Shut up, town crier. There's a bunch of shops here, like... Big... Oh, interesting. Oh. Shut up. I thought you said that... War is hell, my friend. Ooh, look but at all this stuff. Ballistic shot skill book. Oh, we basically he has a similar face to Ifin, just like a little bit younger. Only oh, he's got the goods here. God damn, these are expensive skills. I barely have the money for it. Even if I sold everything, I don't think that would be enough money. Let's see if I do this. Boom, 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 boom. Why am I making all those? Okay, no, I can get a decent amount of selling all this stuff. I can actually, I mean, I can only afford like one or two at most. What is this one? Fire arrow, fire 15 arrows in a 60 degree arc. Each arrow deals 15 to 70 physical damage plus 3 to 4 water damage. That sounds great. What's it? Warfare. Who has warfare? Oh, I know who has warfare. Jump from one target to another, hitting up to two targets. Oh man, that sounds good. Oh, these good skills are so... Hmm, crippling Blow might actually be a decent one. Deflective Barrier, but I'm pretty sure you need a shield for that one. Yeah, it requires a shield. I'm in Rage. What do I already have? Thick of the Fight skill book. Gain a 10% damage boost for every nearby character or totem, including yourself. The more the merrier. Oh, the good ones are so expensive. I know I already have the skill. Uh, I can really only afford this one. Otherwise, tactical retreat. Become hasty and then retelevert to target position. Does that mean I can go... No, I don't think so. Become hasty then teleport to target position. Like, the way I'm interpreting it possibly is that basically I can teleport somewhere. If it can use that one. Okay, before. I want to see. If it can use that for sure. Barrage. Fire three arrows at three targets of your choice. Okay, that sounds good as well. Heals target for 84 vitality. Cures crippled, knocked down. Ooh. That's good. Marks and thanks. I might get some of these cheaper ones. Ricochet. Oh, ricochet. Oh, okay, one. One, two. Three. Four. I wish I could afford some of these, but they're way too pricey. I don't want to provoke. I don't think anyone's going to provoke them. I don't really want to provoke anyone. I'm not good with that stuff. The good ones are too expensive. They're way too expensive. 
And even then, I can't afford much else than armor right now. I would have to find a lot more cash. Oof. Epic. I can only a few to afford a few of these. Now we have to see. Uh, well, I'm not gonna menu all this right now. So what I'm gonna do is trade a few things for the moment, and the rest will be cash. That should be good. Except, there we go. All right, cool. So this gives me a bunch of things to teach people now. Who has it? I believe it's the Red Prince. All right, good. So you can learn all this crap. And I have the one skill for you, I guess. This is Crippling Blow. I believe you lack skills anyway sometimes. There we go. He even just went in right away. And if in... No, not, I don't want K. Okay, so... Rain's kind of useless for the moment. This is good. Eventually, I'll have more space, though. Just for now, I don't. I'm gonna try that one out. For sure. For sure, I'm gonna try some of these out. Alright. All I can do for now, I can't really afford much else. I would love to, but it's impossible. Um... Alright. There's a target around here somewhere. There's a few targets here. So let's look at the map and see what they are. Beggar's dog. Hmm. Oh, I can talk to the dog. The dog lies there quietly, clearly in great pain. What are you looking at? I'm sick here. Get lost. That's, that's what ails it. Got a pain in the neck. Got a bad pain in the neck. Lay your hand upon the neck. It flinches. A low, threatening growl builds within its throat. Mm. Under the collar, you find the sharpened points of metal rivets. Uh -huh. the poor dog's skin. The dog bears its teeth at you and growls. Let's try and get it to trust me. The dog gives you a long, hard stare, but does not bite you. Yet. Let's turn it inside out. The dog goes to bite your hand, and then realizes the pain is gone. Hey, I feel... Nice. Okay. Yeah, for your experience. Thanks, man. Think I'll wander off now. Here, before I go, what can I do to show my gratitude? Let's ask him who put it on. Master did. Master. That's all he knows what that means. Huh? Uh, wait a minute. Master hurted me? Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go now. Wait. But first, I have a thing I need to do. What are you gonna do? He turns to his master. You bad man, you! <laughs> <laughs> and then runs. Now what do you think? Penny for a grieving beggar whose dog ran away. There's a dog's by collar. Tell him he's cruel. God damn it. That was my livelihood. Penny for a grieving beggar? I'm <laughs> tell him to get a job. Tell him you'll tell the people what he did. You wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, yes. You would do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I couldn't prevail upon you to change your mind, could I? Tell him you want all of his earnings. He can be glad that's all you're asking. He gives you a cool look, then rummages in his pocket. He hands you the contents. Five that's your gold. Look. Go on then. Get lost, you freeloader. I'm working here. Beggar. Penny for a grieving beggar whose dog ran away. <laughs> well, I got my gold back together, that I gave him. I'm all right. There's a as thing there. Uh, well, hey, You're the other thing disappeared. No, there's one down there. Never forget it. So I'll, we'll head down to this area and see what we encounter. I'm not gonna talk to everyone. There's too many people. Way too many people. All right, what's over here? Why can I go in this section? Can I even go in here? No, I can't. That one sounds sick in here. Who are you, Connie Gregor? Uninterested greeting. Here for the fight. What? What fight? This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually, there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Let's uh, say we're tempted. Well. I look forward to beating the shite out of you then. Bye now. Till later. It's actually going to be a thing. That's actually going to be a thing. Hey, look. He's brushing. What the hell? Drunk. He fixes you with a stare. Looks you up and down. Weighs you up. The cut of your cloth. The weight of your bag. A moment passes. 
Then a smile creases his face. A smile carefully constructed to look friendly and authentic. A smile that doesn't reach his eyes. He's faking it. Greeting, stranger. Looking to ease the pain of a decaying world. You're in the right place. Beers are ordered at the bar, but can I interest you in a nourishing bowl of stew? How about something with spice? He purses his lips. His fingers drum a pattern on his elbow as he assesses you. Reach out, touch his arm, give him a conspirational wink. Tell him you're a man of the word, always looking to explore the many hidden delights of this existence. Okay. I'm sorry, I mistook you for a different kind of person. My mistake. I shall return to serve a meal the customers, and I wish you a good, if boring, appetite. How about 50 coins? I'm sorry, it's not about the money. Okay, walk Don't away. Come back. Well, that didn't work. Let's look at my persuade. Apparently, I can actually increase my persuasion if I go back to that thing that I didn't do for some reason. Oh, well. I take this book. I can't take the book. Let's go talk to the drunk Safa. An elf sways on her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. She slides one of the drinks towards you, her head bobbling heavily on her neck as she nods at the sparkling ale. And it Take it down in one long go. It's not like they have much of an effect on your innards. The drink has barely any effect on you. Bar of coldness in your ribcage and a wetness in your seat. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a glass of the good stuff to smudge everything into a pretty shape. She slides another glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar light. Bottoms up. Uh, Sarah, no. that's undead it. <laughs> Cheers to you, me, and. And her gaze swivels around the room. Damien, dull knife. This place is horrible. Never mind. Cheers to you, me, and me again. All right, then. Another. Uh, let's see. Your face feels nice. Usually, but your teeth tingle, you find yourself worrying about what the alcohol is doing to your inside. Feeling full, you take the third glass and knock it back when. Never heard closely. She's not like any of the elves you've met so far. What do you mean? Say it's the way she talks. You'd mistake her for a dwarf if you didn't know better. Ah, that lot of good that I do me around here. All dwarfies can't seem to catch a break in these parts. So, to the dwarves. All right, let's say about her being bloodshot and blah blah. Psh, give me one good reason. Constitution. I think my constitution is good. See, she looks like someone with a story to tell. She can't tell if she's passed out cold. Oh, nice. Uh, my constitution is my best persuasion. She dumps a heavy arm around your shoulder and pulls you in close. Her breath hot and sour in your face. Look it. Look it. Look at this. This. This is my story. She shows you the two swollen angry red welts on the underside of her arm. She slaps them without finesse, making herself wince, and stares at you intensely. I know how to make it better. I can fix it, all of it. I'll tell you. Grasp her arm and ask where these where those welts came from. She jerks her arm away from you and gazes lovingly at the welts. She doesn't look up as she speaks. There's a... See, there's this woman. But I'm not crazy. And if she kisses you, she can... Change. Hmm. She's downstairs, and 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 now I'm different. <laughs> Tell her it sounds as though she purchased snake oil. Nah, let's ask where, what she means. It's in her lips. It's in the magic. I change the right way, and then and then I mean I think that I'll be fine. You understand? How you know? Sometimes you just want to be fine. Okay, let's be undead with this one. Imagine the alcohol's losing your tongue and that you have a tongue and made you fall and wish for happiness. That's just it, isn't it? That's just it. You ought to go see her. Dorothea. She could help you. She did me. She looks at you earnestly, her eyes gleaming, the twinkle of the amber ale behind them. I seem good, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh, there you go. Having a conversation with a drunk elf. About the magic that was done on her? 
downstairs? Let's take this gold now. Really? The innocent? I doubt it. Is it down here? That's... The... Yeah, it is down there. Should I even bother? Who are you? Papa Thrash. Hold it. Papa no no. <laughs> you no go. Tell me you're looking for someone named Lohar. Trying to move. Okay. You guy ask. What's down in the cellar? None of your beeswax. Unless you got a reason for being. Here's <laughs> a spider. What are your eyes and ask what time he gets off work later? <laughs> Think confusion claim you were here last night. Doesn't he remember you? Rub your fingers together in the universal symbol for Barbary. Attack a little battering attack. Okay, turn on your heel and don't worry. <laughs> Eyelashes. Faint confusion. Clear you were here last night. Cute. Sounds something like my 15 year old daughter would try. No go. But I'll certainly remember your face now. Oh, yeah? What if I wear my dwarven head? What if I do that, huh? I, I have never tried to wear it. Let's put it on Fane's head. Let's go this way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm only wearing this for the moment. How do you turn into a dwarf? This is turn into an elf. Turn into a dwarf. Something has changed. You are you, but more. Hmm. You are another, but not. You look to your hands, your belly, your feet. Flesh you don't know, molded into unfamiliar shapes. You cradle your aching head where another's memories and wisdoms mix with your own. Your fingers trace a line from your head to your face, feeling not the creases of the mask, but the porous surface of new skin. You lower your arm, blink twice, and step forward in this new guise. All right, so I'm an elf now. Let's talk to this elf here. Hold it. Papa, no, no. You, no go. All right, so we're looking for Lohar. He grins unpleasantly. Lohar didn't tell me to let anyone of your description in. So why should I? Uh, bribery. You can't buy my friendship. Oh, you can buy ten seconds of me eyeballs examining the ground for, let's say, a small fortune. You look like you'd be good for it. Let's extortionate. No gold. Out in the cold. What the hell is wrong with this guy? I don't know what to do with this anymore. Something is weird. Uh, how do I turn back to normal? Revert to original form. I gotta remember to take this off before battle. What's upstairs? This is... Captain Ablewater? Magister? Hmm. Eden? You're willing to, yeah? What do you want? Uh, what are you doing there, Red Prince? You seem kind of confused. Tell me about nothing. Remark that you doubt she could help you with what you really want. Charming. While you're here, how about you make yourself useful and settle an argument for us? That's what the disagreement is. Thatcher here is one of my dearest friends, but she isn't the brightest. That's mean. Thatcher grins. Hello. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards. And Thatcher here mate? still fancies a turn around the park with Lovric's lizard. I say she'd be sleeping with the enemy. What say Wait, you're into lizards? Wait, hold on. Our mate Boris got posted to Fort Joy for consorting with lizards. Okay, I know what that means. And Thatcher here still fancies a turn around the park with Lovric's lizard. So, you're into lizards. They look at you expectantly. Uh, note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden is here and Stephen would love her. <laughs> nice. That's air mystic. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magister. Two magisters. Uh, the magister. The magister. Thatcher doesn't look disrespected. Thatcher looks amused. Disrespecting one magister is enough. Go on, get lost. Stop hiding she your feelings. Her drink. Stop hiding your feelings. You of course it's not true. You got that right, it's true. It's very true. What the hell is... Oh, well-worn chest. There's a sleeping dude in here. If I kill him in his sleep, does that mean I get his chest? Why is it all flashy? 
Weathered and rugged, the man sleeps soundly. He mumbles in his slumber. <sighs> There's bad things in the caves. Bad dwarf things. Bad dwarf things. That's what came up. His eyes open, but he doesn't see you. Okay, fine. Is that about? Let's ask about this. <sighs> Blood and oil do mix, after all. His eyes flicker open, but he looks like he's still asleep. You mean they don't mix? The island is ruined and doesn't have a name. Don't go there. Let's try and wake him up. His eyes open, hmm. but he doesn't see you. That's what this ruined name is, Island. <sighs> There's no graveyard. Stay away from the graveyard. There's no graveyard on the island. Stay away from the graveyard. Clap, clap. His eyes open. He's not a dwarf. He He's too tall. Ask where this graveyard is and why one should stay away from it. So dust and wolves, mother. So dust and wolves. Mother? His eyes open, That's but he about doesn't the dusty see. wolves. <sighs> Ox for Lucian's day sounds nice, mother. Okay, this is getting weird. Open, but he doesn't see. That's gonna be on the Ox on Lucian day. <sighs> Leave me alone, mother. One more time. His eyes open, but he doesn't Tell see. Tell me not his mother. <sighs> Smile. Get off. He goes back to sleep. Well, that was kind of pointless, wasn't it? I like how the chests can't be opened, but like, of course it's not true. You know, he's asleep. Is he gonna stop me? Is he gonna stop me? Cardsman, Baron, what? Whatever. Can't touch any of this stuff anyway, unless I kill them. There's a higher place over here. What the hell is this about? Can't reach it apparently. Oh, you can't even go into that door. Whatever. Can't touch anything in here. Unless I kill the magisters, maybe. Who rings the bell? Okay, who rings the bell? No one rang a bell. Can't even think where that mask would be good, though. At all. If I want to pretend to be someone else. It's like some. Oh, there's a dude here. He was hard to see. Nicholas. What's up here? So many paintings of Alexander. They really, really revere him. Uh, two magisters. Oh, great. A citizen. Can't you see I'm on a break here? All right, let's say about this. What? Oh, no. Poor Demori. Go tell Magister Raymond or Magister Julian immediately. They'll raise the alert. Go. Now. Me? Oh, there's no other magister. Where are they? That sword. I'm on a break now, Yvette. You better not fall asleep on your watch again. If I kill you, can I take your stuff? Calm down, Brianna. Oh, oh, Calm you're here. Dossier on the sorcerers. Head nodding drowsily, the Magister brings her voluminous sleeve up to her face. She sniffs loudly and suddenly jerks to attention, eyes red rimmed with zeal and something else. They won't take me unawares. I'm. I'm ready for anything. See? I have accepted. It, well, I'm ready. That's what matters. Vigilance. Uh, let's, let's ask who they are. Why whoever snapped your magisters off the street and disappearing them? Six lost in a week. Six! Need to be ready. Ready. Ready! Ready to protect. Damn. Waving you away, she cranes her neck to scan all around her, jaw clenched and eyes flickering. All right. Apparently, there's something going on with these magisters. It's being taken away or something. Well, I didn't Surrounded see you in here. Let's talk to this magister. I didn't see him last time. The magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. A stranger? I hate strangers. What do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's magisters missing. I'm trying <sighs> to conduct a bloody investigation. Shoot back that you don't give a damn as best. Apologize that you're new to the area. You didn't mean to intrude. Well, mind your bloody step in future. I've an investigation to carry out, and I don't need any more distractions. Let's ask him about what he knows. He's a deviant named Higba, a grubby little tinkerer with a criminal mind. Some of my magisters have vanished from Driftwood lately, and I'm certain that fiend is responsible. That's a uh, remark that the suspect must be fierce, fierce of sort. Hardly. 
By all accounts, he seemed like just another money grubbing nobody. He must have caught my magic. Maybe he's void woken. It's the only explanation. No matter, he'll face justice either way. If you catch sight of that dog, tell me all my men at once. Understand? There might even be a reward in it for you. Let's raise the subject of the disappearances. Well, do you know anything? Nope. Stop wasting my time then. Okay, so I have to find something first. This is like a side quest. I find information, bring it to him, and maybe he'll give me money. Hey. I'd have to warp here. Some blood. Some blood. Bleh. What the hell? Oh. Outhouse. Occupied. Oh, unholy hells. That's so she's all right. Do I? Oh, do I sound like I'm all right? What I get? Bloody tainted stew. Said, <laughs> uh, uh, what did she mean by it? Makes a little no oh, fish into some of my stew. Bloody mackerel must have been tainted. Ew. Save me, Lucian. Lucian ain't gonna do nothing for you. Mm. I'll stay out of there, thanks. Okay. Leave me. Okay, fine. I should have offered her something. What is this? Reinforced crate? It's a key. What the? Old key. Now, fine. What the? Uh, it can unlock anything here. Literally anything. Bop-bop-bop-bock. That's why I kill a chicken. Hey, it's a cat. Pox. Oh, what? What do we find? What is this? Cat skeleton. Okay, that's weird. Let's get if in here. We can only analyze it. Let's talk to this cat. Hey, that's your buddy? How do we unbury a dead cat? The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone. But I'd gladly lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. Tell me he doesn't look so well. Maybe he shouldn't be eating tainted fish. But I need them. So yummy. I... They taste like Why is it so realistic? and spoiled cream and turn the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur. Like being caressed by black cotton. <laughs> so why does a cat sound like that? I give my right paw. Well, apparently I can't give him fish now. Could I ever have given him fish? What uh, is in here even? Can I even access it? Uh, probably from down there. I see. I am. There's so much I can do right now. I think that I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh, it's like the main town square, isn't it? Yeah, I see now. Uh, are you drunk or asleep? Let's talk to you. Saving? Game saved. Why is it saved? Locked. How do we pick the lock? Why did it save? Thievery level too low. Oh, you don't even need to pick the lock. Hold on. Hold on. We are going back to our normal helmet here. Just in case. And he's probably missing some things. Uh, you have that. Skill requirement not met. What? What? What happened? My, why can't I equip it anymore? Okay, whatever. What is what do I say to get this thing to enter there, I think. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. Closer. Her stillness is not is not a calm one. She waits she waits for someone something. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? That's an unusual spot to be napping. No. Uh. Nice quiet spot for a dwarf to get some shut eye. Let's point to the hatch beneath her. Uh, cobwebs, I reckon. 
Maybe some spiders and silverfish, rats. Nothing you want. What's persuasion? You collect cobwebs, I guess. Let's say she's terribly stubborn. What are you hiding? I ain't hiding nothing. This is the warmest corner in the house, is all. Okay. Didn't I tell you to scram? I can only raise my weapon or do this. She doesn't look like a dwarf. I know it's. Wine all you want. I'm staying and you're leaving. Before you can ask more, the dwarf holds up her hands and closes her eyes. She's done talking. I need some wits persuasion. How much did I need? I should have looked. Okay, well, god damn it. I don't have any of these I can do for persuasion. Civil. Wait, how does persuasion even work in this game? Who has enough wits for persuasion? Intelligence, finesse, constitution, memory, wits. Wait, how does persuasion even work in this game? I'm actually not very sure. Because I can give persuasion here. But wait, that, I don't understand that actually. How do you get more persuasion? Because his is which one? Constitution, isn't it? But how does he have constitution based persuasion? Can I warp back to the ship? Because apparently I can. Yes, I can. Which is exactly what I want to do. Let's go back underneath, and I'm curious about something right now. About the persuasion thing. Because I'm really, really lacking it, and I'm absolutely not sure how to give myself the persuasion. I gotta go one more down. Alright, let's take a look at this. It's over here, apparently. So much shit in my thing. Okay, that's Iffin. Oh, it has my Steam avatar. Abilities. So how do you... Talents. I can technically take away if I don't like it. Okay, so how do you get more persuasion here? Okay, so I see what you can do now here. You can use this to take away points and assign them somewhere else if you really want it. It's got that. I have one ability here. Attributes. Attributes. So, strength, finesse, intelligence, constitution, memory, wits. Okay, so... Where's the persuasion ability? I can technically... Minus some bartering points here. And give, like, two to persuasion, right? To Iffin. And which one... Persuasion level two. Because I don't think I need this much bartering from gear and thievery. And now... What is this? Oh, okay, multiplayer. Okay, so... Accept. Yes, I, I can, I'll spend those points later, man. Iffin, join my party. How about you? Let's look at Fane, because I'm curious about him. Persuasion. How do you do persuasion if you have, like, nothing? So he's terrible for that. I like how it, like, puts me out of my party. How about you? 
I'm just curious about some of these attributes I gave them. He's got a four for personality. He's got one persuasion. Yeah, I don't need... Ah, you know what I just realized? I don't need Ifin for bartering. Ifin doesn't need to barter when I have the Red Prince. So him, I could sink more points into... Hmm. I think that's already being shared with me. So I can... Okay, three is the base. And I can't take any more away. Telekinesis allows to move by... Okay, I don't need that on him, obviously. Okay, I'm fine with the rest of them here. There's not much I can minus. I think that certain them, certain ones are base attributes, so I can't take away from them. Okay. Well, that's how that works. Now let's look at you. Abilities here. Man, her, her outfits are all so weird. So she has only three, and I can only I only have one of her. It's luck. She, I might as well give her more luck. Might as well. Sneaking is good. Here, she's got Scoundrel and Pyrokinetic. Hydro Sophist. Wait, does that mean I can give her skills? 10. One point available. Summoning Necromancer. No. Geomancer. No. No. Uh, oh, that's from gear. I have two from the gear. Yeah, I remember I did that, I think. Maybe I could give her one as a base. Alright, two points here. I mean, I can assign this one later on. Okay. Oh, I have to go up, though. So, I'm hoping that since I gave him some persuasion, that'll actually be a little bit better. Because I have been lacking it, and I don't know why Fane can do in that way. Wait, and I don't know... Oops, hold on a second. Everyone. How, why do they separate after that? It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Everyone, let's go. Yeah, it's gonna be a well while until I make progress. I can do a lot of recordings, I just won't be making quick progress. And today I'm not really gonna edit much out because I'm not really in the mood to edit things out here. I think my bedrolls are unlimited, but I don't think so. I don't think so, because one of them disappeared for me, but maybe I was wrong? How many bedrolls do I have? I do have... Okay, they are unlimited. Okay, that is good to know. Because I didn't think they were. Okay, there's three things I can do in this area. So now let's go to map and see here. Master Carver. Morvik. Or Master... Let's go to that one. Alright. Uh, let's go... Over here then. Oh, that poison. Poisoned fish. It's Master Raymond. Okay, talk to me. Where are these? Poisoned fish. Don't let up now. Oh, I guess Keep we'll talk to this that dude. Cargo. Is that why it's saved, possibly? No, it's not around that area. It's saved in a completely different portion. A lot of tainted stuff here. Cautionary pamphlet. There's not much else I can take. All right, let's just talk to this guy. Go on, you mute sacks of flesh. Put your backs into it. I'll not lose another day to the tide. The Lord Dread awaits. It sails billow with Dallas's breath. I'll. The Magister stops barking orders. He sniffs the air like a predator. Turns to face you. The wolf eyeing the deer. <laughs> No, I won't say that. That's an intense fellow, this one. You do not get to make that decision. That decision is mine. A good day? Let's talk about a good day. All right, what's a good day for you? Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? Your body swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken with Shake cast your head, iron you rods. Shake your head, you're hiding. That's why he didn't craft such a whore. 
Uh, science states such cruelty is unworthy of a fellow human being. We do cruel things unto others and unto ourselves because we must. He licks his lips. Dry flesh turns wet. See, I'd like to string you up too. Rack you with rods and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. Let's be undead. In that case. You'd better think very carefully about the next words that escape your stinking trap. I'm very good at what I do, see? I don't even need a source hound yapping at my side. I, I haven't seen that many source hounds, though. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth. That is to say, source. Hey, only three of us have source. Best convince me I was mistaken. Never the ones I have. Take a step closer and whisper that he has a lot of nerve to accuse the best source hunters west of Arcs of being sorcerers. Lady Dawson seemed to smell the current filled last time you dined with her for joy. That's not, that's not, which is not going to work, right? Oh, it worked. He leans in closer and sniffs the air once more. Interesting. So I was mistaken. Hey, did that because I Must put up my persuasion on I smelt Ifin? On you, not the magic that dare not speak its name. Very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. A would-be magister has to prove his killer instinct. After all, seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day. Ah, you're gonna try and get me to kill innocents. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf troubled waters, but they do. See, we have thought him came up dealing with a few unruly dwarves himself. I'm quite capable, but as you can see, I'm also preparing to set sail. And who will deal? He's with like prepping me for this. I need someone to do this when I leave. Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule? A beast of burden? But some defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I need of a rat catcher. Urgent to make his point. If you're ex if you're to accept the role of the rat catcher, you'll need to more concrete information. Of course, I must depart post haste. But Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Julian, tell me the Ask stuff. And he will answer. Stay behind, but but I've my orders, same as you, Dallas. Oh, he got knocked down. Like I said, Julian is staying. He has no choice. I knocked him down, and when that boat leaves, he'll still be knocked down. And with that, I must be off. No hard feelings about the death threats, of course. How about we part? Shaking hands instead of stringing them up. Let's shake hands. I'll say we'll deal with it. There's a moment of fleeting suspicion as his glove closes around the bones of your hand, but only a moment. <laughs> is that he bony fingers? Up. He's just got. He's just very thin. How very heartwarming. Yet cold at the same time. One last thing. The magisters here are diligent men and women. A stranger like you may run into mm -hmm. troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this oh, piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them nice. without fail, I assure you. Adieu and good luck. The Lord Dread awaits. The use of the gallows, I pass on to you. To the amateur who I just showed up. My Chapter 4, meaning the lovelies. mastering the source. We set sail. Okay. Get on board and man your stations. Let's look at this quickly. Powerful awakening. My lady said it's a dream decision of Meister Siva at the Seekers. Okay, I forgot about that. Hey, they're leaving! Bye. Goodbye like a dog. Bah. Seven curses upon that. Julian, tell me the what's Magister going on. He's rubbing the dirt off his robes. None the worse for wear, apparently, from the blast of magic that knocked him off his feet. You, the damn recruit. I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in Magister affairs had better be worth it. Shut up. Tell him your his supervisor told you to report him. Yes, I am very much aware. Or report to him. Head to hit the floor back there. Now answer me. Did you meet with a Magister caravan on your way into town? The hour was growing late and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. I've heard that you did. By the bishop's bones, you saw it. 
out with that man. What happened? All right, tell us where the car was waylaid by dwarven water otters. See, tell him the place was there with dead magisters, sorcerers, and dwarves. Dwarves? The pox on those bearded devils. Well, now he thinks it's the dwarves. Ravens, that old goat. Always suspected there's more to the driftwood dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ship sinking, weapons Not disappearing, dwarves. and as you've seen, a Why do you think it's dwarves? They're short, stubby people. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. Let's ask why he thinks it's the dwarves. They've always been snakes in the grass. Cheap labor, sure. And hard workers, <laughs> too. Half of them uh, are I see. spies. Her eyes, her ears, her poison pouring hands. How does information get back quickly if there's you know, spies in this time period? Like, surely. A tyrant and a master strategist to that. All right, where do I start looking? There's a local thug, Loha. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. Oh, I know I him. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory. His voice sounded different there, like it was a different take. Where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working half of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure yeah, you. we know enough. In that case, go forth and let the hunt commence. I have my log. I don't need you to tell me anything. Oh my god. When I think about all the things I have to do now, basically the, the, these things, these things, they're spies. Hmm. Can I do something with my... Son of a watcher can't do a thing. Oh well. Can I do anything with my paper right now? Master Bella. Can I show you my paper? I gotta... Startled, the guard leaps backwards and reaches for her weapon. She locks eyes with yours before... I want my manager's paper to do be use of something. You shouldn't surprise me like that. Oh, I could have slashed your neck clean open. Jumpy, is she? That's why she's so on edge. Rustling leaves no longer remind me of autumn. A songbird's call no longer makes me whistle. Now... They might signal a void walkin's attack. The void walkin' are spooking people. Have you ever faced a void walkin? <laughs> Let's say we've fought a few. Nonsense. You best abandon those fables of yours. The danger is real. And the first to fall will be the dreamers and the escapists. Uh, when can I flash my paper? Is that the, the, the... What the hell is that over here? What's with the poisoned fish, by the way? Or is that just because of polluted waters? Well, there's something to the west. Is that the same dog? Molly the dog. Molly the dog? You. Check out Molly the dog. We'll get some information. Hackles raised. The dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. Tell us the good dog. You're nice, and I'm a good dog. Yes, I am. What are you barking at? There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. This house? Mark that everything smells bad around here. Tell it to trust its instincts. Go look into it. You be careful now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. Does it? Under this house here? This one? This one here? You can't see my mouse pointer, though. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of poison fish everywhere. I don't know why I would collect them. Is this the pub? Now to think about it. In this place? What is this? I can't see inside. No, this is not the pub. Breaking barns. It's the... What the hell is going on in here with all this poison? Magister Reed. Now get out of my sight. The Magister turns, and his eyes fall on you. You! Have you seen anyone leaving this place? Grey cloak, grey beard, a satchel of books under one arm. No. You can't have missed him. Lucian's teeth. Where is that runt hiding? 
Who? If you see anything suspicious, anything at all, report it immediately. You understand? Who is it? Why? He's a sorcerer dressed uh. as a tinkerer. Our brothers started vanishing as soon as the tramp arrived in town. <sighs> They're blaming everyone but the Void Woken, pretty much. That's what He's I interpret it as. this stinking shed, but we'll find him again. We'll have our justice. <sighs> See, I would say this, but I know it's... I, there is no justice in this world. I'll say it anyway. The Magister looks at you for a long, hard moment. He seems angry, puzzled, and amused there. in equal measure. I, I broke your worldview quickly. But then, of course, you're just like, Oh, what are you saying, you crazy dude? We have all the evidence we need. There will be no court of appeal for this sorcerer. Now, I've got a coward to catch. Excuse me. Well then, uh, I guess they're at Brayden, Brayden, whatever that guy. Probably ask if he was being hidden by him or something. That's what I would interpret. Can't even get up there. Yeah, I can. Let's go talk to him. Might make for an amusing time, but how do I get under? Dude, there's just poison fish everywhere. Literally everywhere. Put we what? Oh. If any of you see so much as a rat's hair out of place, you tell the magisters. Oh, I climbed up the ladder. Then we can get them out, and you can get back to work. All right, let's ask you see him. a man, well-fed and wealthy, but stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He tries to ignore your presence, fails. He sighs. See here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arks are held up. Time is money. Don't waste my money. What do you want? Uh, that's undeaded. If that's some kind of riddle, I ain't about to play along. Now, unless you've got something on your mind... All right, let's ask about the cargo. Let's see. Let's ask about the cargo. Yeah. Fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to Arks. Now, please. There's the door. I suggest you use it. It's all void tainted, but he doesn't care. When you've been in business as long as I have, you learn that there's a market for everything. You just have to find it, or it finds you. A dark shadow passes across his face. Sometimes. It yep. Finds there we go. You. Uh, that's cool. And Arks is buying void tainted fish. That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. Oh yeah, well, what if I could constitution? Oh. You take me for a fool? Good day to you. Don't let the door hit you on the. Yeah, the constitution didn't work. How about if in? You see a man. Well, he tries to see. A very big fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to. Uh, that's privileged information. Uh, I have a trade to protect. Tell him his trade will be gone if the magistrate requisition his stock. Ask if he'd like that to happen. Yeah! An excellent point. Well made. The answer to Plus your he's question a is, unsurprisingly, a man in a house. A man in a house buys all the void tainted fish I can send him. A man in a house. That dark shadow crosses his face once more. He shivers. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. Tell us, tell us. Tell me you'd like to meet this man. Ask for his address. Absolutely not. I don't give away sensitive information like that to anyone who just asks for it. And I don't keep it lying around, neither. That really is enough now. I'm asking you to leave. Good day. Well, I know something. Rise of the Dwarves. It's all about the dwarves. This thing is going to be huge. Pass from the source. Where is it here, even? Chronicles. Rise of the Dwarves. Dwarven colonels and Dredgewood are working to undermine the magisters. Queen Justina's Dwarven subjects seem to say, okay, intercepted a major divine order shipment. Would that be the fish? Despite their condition, there is some demand for void tainted fish in the city of Arks. Strangely, a mysterious man in a house in Arks is buying just with void tainted fish. How is this all related? To each other though get them out, and you can get back to work and they're all dwarves working here looks like but how is that even related how do I get down to where they were pointing where the dog was pointing what the hell is this sand I can't even get down there I probably can open some boxes here it seems Is there a way underneath? It might be possible. 
No, it's not possible. The dog was talking about somewhere here. Under this house? There's no real way to get underneath, though, and that's the confusing part. That's the closest I can get to going underneath, but I think the wood's gonna block me because we don't crawl. We're too good to crawl. Fish, that's it pretty much. Oh, nice. Eight gold. Just what I always wanted. Hey, look, this looks like fresh fish. It's just a barrel. Dude, there's just tainted fish everywhere. Apparently, someone's buying. Can't reach. That's what I thought. Someone's buying all this shite. Up the shark. Who's this Magister? Magister Reed. I already talked to Magister Reed. You'd swear the shark was smiling at you. Uh oh. Don't want smiling sharks. They might attack me. Yeah, I have no idea what this dog wants me to look at here, though. At all. Well. That's to leave, but I don't think I was ever there before. I'm Alexander the Bishop. I'll fish you. Thank you, human. Look to original form. But I am my original form, right? Then we can get them out and yeah, I am. Yeah, it's just always there, it looks like. I am in my original form. Turn to an elf. It's apparently elves are always female. Okay, we're gonna just rearrange just a little bit here because I want them closer together, obviously. I don't even have the mask on me. Do I, did I just learn it by putting it on? Or do I actually have it? I never... T I gave the wrong thing. Didn't I? Oh. I gave the wrong thing. I want on you for now. There we go. Now I can put it back his thing. I thought something was wrong. <laughs> Playing Dallas at Alexander. Okay, what do we got here? It doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's go to that one then. Where are you? In here? I think it's in here. Yeah, I don't know where that dog was talking about. I'll probably have to read it in the long book. Okay, so here it's pointing to this guy. This bloke. So now I have persuasion. I told you to scram once. Don't make me say it with my fist. I might have to change person. Iffin. Hold it. Papa no no. You no go. Tell me you're looking for someone named Lohar. He grins unpleasantly. Lohar didn't tell me to let any walking scarecrow in, so why should I? Let's see, you don't recognize me? He squints at you in the gloom. Then his eyes widen, and he takes a stumbling half step hmm. backwards. Iffin! Everyone here knows Iffin, right? What? I gotta remember that. If it might be my key to get here. This is like Ifin's story, I think. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Okay, then. I now have access. That was easy. 3,000 experience. Yes, I know I can assign stuff to them. I'm gonna do it later when I actually feel like I need... I don't know where to put it yet. That's why. So am I shilling for the Magisters right now or not? It probably depends on how I decide it goes. What is this anyway? Saved. Usually that's a bad thing. Are you guys trapped? Oh, because it's saved. It's interrupted me. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. Well now, how's my favorite? If and... Hold on. 
poison though. Can you dig in the poison? Alright, good. Doesn't affect him really. It's a... Uh... Pouch. Ooh. Okay, hay scroll, silver glass, and seven gold. The hay scroll is a little bit better. Mm hmm. Effie. Heard that name. Look at that. Good to meet you, Governor. What's your poison, Dan? A sip or a smoke? Let's see. Is that a Drew da Dane? Oh, so it is. But not just any Drew. I should talk with oh, no. Effie here. My own special blends. Further down's the arena, see? And the oh, another arena. I was on the lookout for an edge. I give them that edge. They could say that my darling herbs flower in the flesh and blossom in the. There's rain. two quest markers here. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. Maybe later. How can I make? I don't know what that is. Tell me you'd like yeah. to have it again, or wish I have to take a leave. Let's use Ifin. Ben there we go. As I live and breathe, I didn't think I'd see you back in Driftwood again. No, no, don't tell me. If I don't know the story, I won't have to lie about it later. <laughs> no one wants to talk about Ifin. She reaches out to pinch your cheek and gives you an exaggerated wink. So what's your poison, Governor? A okay. sip or a smoke? Herb mixes. Just say the word, Governor. What are you after? What? <laughs> I wonder if she can also mix herbs that have more negative consequences. I, I don't think I follow you there. What are you after exactly? Oh. By any means. Any means, yes. That's what I was afraid of. All sounds mighty reprehensible to me, Governor. Why on earth would I do such a thing? I think I can do wits one. I guess she's clearly the master of her craft. Really? I need three. You can say what you will, Governor, but you ain't convincing me. It's one thing to give these fellas a boost. Poisoning them is quite another. I guess I can never really convince her again. again Alright, what do you have to offer? Pleasure doing business with you, oh. oh my god, really? Does this cost as much as... Okay, no. I don't want that. A carrot. Pizza. I, I, for some reason, I don't think pizza when I think of Divinity's world. Ball of beer. Really nothing here. He gets a bit of a discount. You only get five. Seven, seven, the same discount, no matter what. Uh, I'll leave for now. Let's do the markers. Who is this? Ganga. Who is this? A decadent one? Hail. Such a striking man. Whoa. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck, hot, moist. Sounds like a reaction or something. Mm. Oh, yes. I have something that you want. But I what do I want? Bargain with those I deem deserving. Those who have accomplished great things. So, tell me, are you worthy of my gift? Confirm that you escaped for joy. Is that the kind of worth that she is seeking? If you swam your way here, I might consider that a notable trial. But honey, I know you didn't swim. You'll have to give me something more impressive than We that. hijacked Dallas's boat. Y that's not good enough? Surely you've accomplished something of note. Alright, what is she offering? Handsome. I must consider your merits before I answer your question. Why, I wouldn't tease you with a gift I could never offer. You don't think me cruel, do you? Very well. But you'll be back, and I'll be right here. Something tells me you're worth the wait. There's a double entendre going on here. Uh, let's talk to a lizard guy here. Or Gahanga. My good sir, I see that you accompany no other than his royal majesty, oh, nice. the Red Prince. I have a message for him of quite vital importance, if you'd be so kind. Of course he'll be so kind. Speak freely, kinsman. 
he urged you to speak. What is so vile? Look at the reference of skeptic man asked me if he really wanted to trust the stranger in the Duridan clan. All right, whatever. Directions, my lord. I was bid to send you to none other than Bramos. Oh man, that name I haven't heard in a while, but I know we've been searching for him for a while, and here he's in Driftwood. He was waiting for you here. Uh oh, friend. what happened to him? But, but. He looks around the hazy room with hasted eyes. The House of Shadows stirs. The Honorable Bramos sensed them closing in. He had no choice but to flee from Driftwood. A little ways east he went, in search of safety, to an encampment of paladins. You will find him there, Majesty. And with that, I have told uh, you. So I we're did. still delayed in talking to him. Are you satisfied? Indeed I am. We will follow your directions. You have my thanks, Kingsman. Prince of Princes, I am humbled and grateful. He bows deeply before the Red Prince, as reverently as one would before a god. Alright, there you go. I think for now, I will end this part. Do a nice little save. This is good enough. All right, then. I thank you for watching once again, and there's a lot I can do for sure, but hey. Only so much I can do, because there's so much open to me right now being a new place. Less attacks happening. So, in the meantime, I'll see you in the next part. So long.